one of the things that also rubbed, uh, rubbed, sorry, um, public officers the wrong way was the manner in which she dealt with her staff. I can recall attending several meetings uh, at the Grievance Committee and at the Joint Staff Relations Chip Council and the previous presidents, um, where the issue of her treatment of staff uh, was always up for discussion. Um, it is, of course, that she felt that her office was off limits to the Joint Staff Relations Council. Um, and as a result, she failed to adhere or follow any advice or instruction coming from that council, um, which unfortunately simply resulted in, in, in public officers uh, being disenfranchised and, and, and suffering um, both financially and emotionally and also uh, um, mentally as a result of some of the uh, actions or decisions that she took against them. So. Um, the environment at the Arctic Department, uh, based on our, our prelim, preliminary review and visits also with members there, um, wasn't one that was a healthy one. Um, uh, and so uh, we don't think that it's fair to put back uh, Ms. Bradley in that environment and to also put back the public officers, many of whom we represent, back in an environment with a head of department, which clearly um, uh, there is no love. And of course, many will say, well, you don't have to love me if you work with me. But I mean, it's a very important department. And, um, and we just think that it's time to move on. And, and we're hoping that the government will do the right thing. Search for a new candidate, uh, somebody that is as qualified or more qualified and competent. And, and let's, let's do what needs to be done to get it right with that department.